Hello friends, I hope you're well today. Today's devotion um, is very uh, close to my heart um, and it deals with the issue of trust. Um, I'm not sure how you guys uh, deal with trust. Um, maybe there's some circumstances that uh, each and every one of you have gone through that have led you to have a lack of trust in people or in God. Um, but today I would just like to share a few points of how I try and keep my trust in God. Trust, uh, according to the dictionary, is the firm belief in the reliability, truth and ability of someone or something. And for me, I look at this and I say, okay, well, I've got to know and understand that uh, or develop my firm belief in the reliability of God, His truth um, and His ability to come through for me. Um, I consider myself a simple guy and that's the way I look at it. God comes through. He wants to come through and He wants to work with you. The scripture that has been on my heart is from 2 Peter 1 verse 3. It just says, His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who keep us by His own glory and goodness. Through these, He has given us the very great and precious promises so that through them you may participate in His divine nature. God has given us everything we need through difficult times, through great times, to participate in a nature that includes Him, that we can walk in freedom and walk in joy. And for me, that's the, that's the basis um, of, uh, of what I'm talking about. We've got to trust in God to such a point that we can walk in joy in all circumstances. And I know it's not easy. We've all had difficult times. Um, and we, we've gone through it. I've seen it over this last year where friends um, have had family that have died, um, died and um, other people around me have had loss, um, both financially, in jobs, um, in, in different ways. Um, and it is very, very difficult. And uh, I don't want to just uh, cast that aside. Um, but for me, God instructs me to look back to Him. God instructs me to inquire of Him. God instructs me to seek Him out and to search Him and to keep my eyes on Him. Um, a few examples for me is uh, the story of Job. When he had just heard that he had lost all his children um, while they were in a house um, and it came down and collapsed on them all, it says there that uh, he got up, tore his robe, shaved his head and then he fell to the ground in worship. And for me this just reminds me that no matter what we go through, no matter what we are, 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 are experiencing in this time, is that um, we have to acknowledge who God is. We have to seek Him out. We've got to know that He's sovereign. Trust that He has an answer for us. Trust that He has a way out. Um, but um, we worship Him in everything we do, in our language and what we do. We honor Him um, in church. And if you don't go to church, my encouragement is to go. Find a family. Find someone that can uh, talk to you. Find those that you can develop a trust with. Um, and then that'll get you through. I love the story um, in when Joshua gets uh, deceived by the Gibeonites. Um, they come and they deceive him. It says the, the Israelites sampled their provisions um, but did not inquire of God. Whereas in every other situation, in every other battle, they inquired of God. And I love that because it just it changed what he was doing in that moment. They had a pattern of God was in, in process. Um, and because he didn't ask God about that one specific thing, it changed. And they made an oath and they had to stick to that oath with the Gibeonites. But later on, God still honors them. When he fights the five kings of the Amorites, and it says, The Lord said to us, Do not be afraid. I've given them into your hand. And then it says, a little bit later, it says, The Lord hurled large stones down on them. But I love this. When he stopped the sun so that the fight could go on, for a whole day, there's this acknowledgement at the end. Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. And and my, my cry today is for you to understand that surely God is fighting for you and fighting for me. I love it. I work in an industry that has tough times up and down according to the economy. Um, and I went through a tough time in December and January. Um, and at the end of Jan, um, just through prayer, uh, 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 I hope so maybe, but God came through for me. And he was fighting for me because I had a payment that I didn't invoice for come through. And that blessed me greatly. God looks at me when we inquire of him, when we search him out. And surely the Lord is fighting for me. We got to trust in his promises. We got to trust that um, he'll never leave us. He says, don't worry. Don't worry. He says, ask and you'll be given if we ask for the right things from God. Remain in me and I'll remain in you. And I love that scripture that we've been given everything. Friends, we've got to remember that Jesus is the same today, the same um, yesterday, the same today, and the same tomorrow. 
where God has helped before, the stories that I read, God comes through, the stories that I look where God comes and He rescues because we call on His name. God is the same. He'll come through today. He'll come through tomorrow. We've got to call on His name. In, in Philippians 4, it says, He'll meet your every need out of the riches in His glory that's found in Jesus. Friends, as we search out Jesus, as we, we are called to lift our eyes to Him, He will meet our every need. And I love this from God in Hebrews 4, 6, is that when we approach the throne of grace with confidence, there He will meet us, there He will be, and there He will be able to see how great our King is. Friends, I hope this blesses you. Keep strong.